Hi everyone and welcome to my channel where I focus on exposing the narcissist. Thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Clarice and I hope you find this video beneficial. Today I want to focus on the sneaky ways narcissists get supply from us. As nothing they get is ever enough, it's no surprise that they are always seeking ways to boost their egos and validate their existence. Knowing all of the narcissist ways of getting supply is very important as the last thing we want to do is be enabling and validating them. Something else I want to touch on is what one of my subscribers wanted me to talk about, which is how we end up becoming their counselors, their agony aunts, who end up resolving their problems and uplifting them. This is going to fit into today's topic, so please be sure to stay with me to the end. So what is narcissistic supply? It's basically the excessive attention or admiration that the narcissist craves. So just like you need fuel for a car to keep it going, the narcissist needs this supply to keep being their narcissistic selves. Without it, they cannot cope. So they try every possible way to get it. When a covert narcissist steps out of their house to present themselves to the world, a lot of effort and thought went into their choice of dress, their walk, their talk, and their facial expressions. It's a performance for all who cross their path that they have perfected. The amount of work that goes into creating that false persona, there is no wonder that the narcissist expects to get praised for it. They don't just want to hear how good they look or how smart they are, they need to hear it. They need that validation. So one of the major sneaky ways that a narcissist gets that extra supply is by fishing for compliments. There are three ways a narcissist can fish for compliments. So I'll go through those first. Then I will talk about what it means when the narcissist is very complimentative of you. The first way a narcissist can fish for compliments is by speaking bad about themselves so that others can build them up. I think the proper term for it is self-deprecating, where they undermine their accomplishments, their looks, etc. for other people to reassure and affirm them. So for example, after spending hours in a salon getting that perfect hairdo, in order to make sure you recognize and compliment them, they would draw attention to their hair and give the impression that they're not happy with that style, which is far from the truth, as the narcissist would have put a lot of thought and money into it to make sure it suits them. This is just their way of baiting you in, because what happens next more times than not is that we end up reassuring them and telling them how fantastic they look, etc. And this is a tactic they can use for just about anything in order to get others to compliment them. The second way a narcissist can fish for compliments is by putting themselves in positions where compliments come with the territory. I'm talking about stuff like raising money for charity, doing charity runs, helping the poor and destitute in a public arena. Basically, the narcissist is doing loving and caring things and making sure everyone knows about it. Because behind their acts of generosity and kindness is that expectation to be recognized and complimented for their actions. This is why what they do have to be public. It's all a staged act that they want to be applauded for. Now, the third way a narcissist can fish for compliments is by giving others a compliment first. There is some written law of politeness that says if someone compliments you, you should compliment them back. The narcissist exploits this and gives out insincere compliments to get compliments back in return. 
If they realize someone does not observe this rule, they will stop giving that person compliments as they know they will not get anything back in return. Okay, so those are the three ways in which a narcissist can fish for compliments. It's sneaky, it's not that obvious what their intentions are, and that is why many narcissists do this. But what does it mean when a narcissist keeps complimenting you? It's simple. They want something from you. They either want to infiltrate your circle of friends or they want something tangible. Because when narcissists fall on hard times or need advice, they usually know who to turn to. So they start warming themselves up to that person, usually by being very complimentative. Then they step into the victim role of being helpless or desperate. And this is when you find out what they really want. After building you up and playing nice, they now pretend to be the victim that you need to save. But keep in mind that their compliments were insincere. It was just to soften you up so that you would give them the help that they need when they ask for it. Once they get the assistance that they need, be it money, advice, affirmation, encouragement, and their issues are resolved, you are then kicked to the curb until the next time they fall into dire straits. But these are cycles that we need to observe and be mindful of because narcissists are predictable. So the formula will always be the same and they will keep coming back if you keep falling for their insincere compliments and if you keep feeling sorry for them. The solution to this is quick and easily solved with one word. The word is no, say no to the narcissist. It may cause a narcissistic injury, but it's the best way to get rid of them. It's interesting that these types of narcissists always want help, but when it's their turn to offer assistance, they are filled with excuses. You may probably be wondering, but how does the narcissist get supply in this instance? Well, every time you fall for their trap, the narcissist's ego is boosted. When you show them pity, they get supply. When you feel sorry for them, they get supply. When their lies are believed, that's a tinker for their narcissistic tank. When they get from you what they were after, that fills up their narcissistic tank to the brim. The narcissist loves to manipulate and them seeing their lies and tactics come together and their goals achieved, it brings a smile to their face and a pep to their step. No consideration is given to anything or anyone. Their need for supply is all that matters to them. The ways narcissists get supply are not always obvious, as I said before, but it's something that they seek after daily, every minute of the day. So don't ever be fooled into thinking that they are ever sincere or modest. And also, there are those people, some are narcissists, some are not, but they seek attention by always looking a pity party. It gets tired after a while. It seems like they are always looking for something to be depressed about. Those types of people really lower the vibration of the people around them. So if you know someone like that, avoid them. You need to keep your spirit and energies high. Anyways, to wrap this up, just remember to watch out for those narcissists who are sneakily looking to top up their narcissistic tanks by fishing for compliments. Also, be wary of those who are suddenly complimentative of you as they are just looking to take advantage of your kindness and validate their existence. As always, I look forward to hearing your thoughts, so please leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe for more and don't forget to click that bell 
to turn on notifications from this channel. Until next time, peace and blessings.